Hey everybody, Mark again, Weatherman Plus. Good to see you. Hope you're having a very blessed day today. This is your Tuesday afternoon update. And matter of fact, not only are we showing strengthening, now NOAA has it on their sites and now it's, they put in hurricane forecasts in their models. Now you can see here on the storm, not only is it getting a lot of shear, but it's also exposing itself. So that's why it's going to hold off until it gets to about Tampa, then ramp up. I'll show you what I mean. If you've never been here before, hello, and my name is Mark. I do upload every single day, uh, just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's when I take my Sabbath. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am you all year around. As a matter of fact, when it's hurricane season, I always do updates in the afternoon when we have a storm on our back door. Now, this is it right here on Windy. And you can see right down here, the eye is getting exposed out of the storm, all the the rest of it's getting pushed over, sheared over, so it can't form all the way around. It's trying uh, to tighten up and lower the middle bars and get strong. It really is. But it's just that there's a lot of shear going on. There's a little bit of dry air getting in there. Not a whole bunch, but just enough to keep it where it can't fully wrap around yet. And that's going to continue until we get to Tampa and the shear goes away. Here's a good look at it right here. All the rest of the storms is way up here to the east, and you have your surface low right there. And it's getting all exposed to the dry air and the shear. You can see it right here on your shear. You can see it gets very moderate shear as it heads north up to Florida. And you can see how it gets exposed right here on the west side. And that allows shear and dry air to get into that storm. But most importantly, it stops it from wrapping all the way around and strengthening at this moment and then when you see when it moves forward it has no shear on the bottom but it just because it's coming right on in right here this is all tightened up like a little windmill and the shear is coming in right here underneath below it's still stopping it from fully going all the way around but as soon as it gets past Tampa then your shear goes from moderate to slight and it's able to go all the way around with the storm so this moment when it passes Tampa Towards landfall, there will be intensification. If you look on the GAFS at the 850 millibar level with the relative humidity, you can see it gets a little bit of dry air on in there, but it don't allow it to close fully. See that? Then when it gets past Tampa, then it's able to do something. And that's according to the GFS. I'll show you the Euro. This is your Euro model, and you can see as it moves up, it cannot close on the south side. Then it tries to speed up a little bit, but it gets broken up from the shear. But then it tries to tighten up even more right before landfall. Now your 2 p.m. Eastern time update is max sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. It is at 1,000 millibars and it's moving north at 9 miles per hour. It's slowing down even more. It was 10, now it's 9. As far as your rainfall amounts for the next five days, they're still the same as this morning. You're pretty much going to get three to five inches along the west coast of Florida, all the way from Cape Coral, all the way towards Cedar Keys. And all this green is two to four inches. And there will be some hot spots of heavier amounts as well. And your flash flooding is also still the same. You still have moderate on the west coast of Florida, and you still have moderate in the bend from Georgia to South Carolina. And it still extends to slight all the way to North Carolina. Your storm surge warnings is still the same. You're all in a storm surge warning in this bright pink, and this very light pink over here, you're in a storm surge watch. Now this is what changed out of the storm surge. Everybody else is still the same as their previous video. Except here by Osceola River, it done went up to two to four feet uh, instead of one to two feet. So there is a hot spot of two to four feet in between this three to five feet. And the 2 p.m. update with NOAA is they're not labeling it a hurricane yet. They got it right at the 70, but they do have it to be a hurricane soon. And they have hurricane warning out for the coast of Florida now. And it is predicted to still be a hurricane. It's still predicted to be a tropical storm. Then a depression still on South Carolina and then intensify on the way out. So here's your warnings. You have hurricane warning for the rest coast of Florida, tropical storm warning in the blue, and now you got a tropical storm watch for the east coast by South Carolina and Georgia. And now who's going to see hurricane force winds? Uh, some people will see it now. It is cutting real strong right on the edge of right here by Clearwater and Tampa and then curving in. So it's going to bring high 60s to 80 miles per hour wind gusts on, on land right here at this moment. So there's a chance also for you to get hurricane force, especially clipping right on the edge 
uh, wins as it passes by. The highest so far is up to 30%. I believe you will see maybe, like it is, on the edge of 70-something of miles per hour winds, and it will downgrade very quickly. Here's the latest recon from Hurricane Hunters. They did pick up 75 knot winds on the west side of the storm. Then as they kept doing drop sounds, they kept seeing it went down to 60. So they're averaging it out at 70 miles per hour uh, winds. But I guarantee you this is probably going to continue to show a little weakening. And then it's going to start picking back up again when it gets close to Tampa. Almost passing Tampa. And the new 12Z has been updated. They have updated to a, a possibility of a Cat 1 hurricane. And this is within the next 12 hours. And they expect that to last for 12 hours until landfall. So 24 hours to landfall. Landfall is tomorrow morning. And then go down immediately to a low-grade tropical storm around 35 knots, 45 miles per hour. Now the Euro is still showing 87. See, it carries over. It strengthens a little bit as it passes Tampa. But it's still showing 87. Uh, 987 millibars, which is 67 knot winds, which is about 75, 76 miles per hour hurricane. And then quickly weaken down to 40 miles per hour winds as soon as it goes landfall. And on your wind gusts. So if what is going to be is from Cape Coral to Tampa is going to be 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. When it gets from Sarasota to Tampa, it's going to go up from 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. And then when it goes from Tampa, and to towards Cedar Keys, it's going to go all the way from 60 to 80 miles per hour wind gusts. So you got 40 and 50 all afternoon, all night long. And then when you get towards Tampa and past Tampa, it starts getting into 65, uh, even 68. Very high wind gusts. Even on land, a possibility of 91 wind gusts still as this moves on land. Even gets a little bit more strength to 93 miles per hour wind gusts, according to the Euro. Now the rainfall amounts is still pretty much the same. You're gonna have three to five inches on the west coast of Florida right here, but it's still showing according to the Euro, there's still a heavy track of heavy rainfall going across Columbia into North Carolina of three to five inches as well. Now the GFS, which I don't believe on the intensity right now, is showing every, the same thing, except maybe three to five inches will carry on down to Cape Coral. That's the only difference, and it shows lighter amounts on the track. But if it gained more intensity, more precipitation, more rainfall, this would be heavier, just like the Euro is showing. Now, when we look at this through NAM 3K, which I do like NAM 3K, you can see how it expands out and all of it opened up. And this is going to continue to try and tighten up and get a closed low. The whole time it's fighting this shear as it moves north. It almost gets it right there a little bit. It gets storms all the way around, but it don't quite get the convection underneath it. But you can see it right there. It's trying, but it's going to hit with shear the whole time it's moving north. And then when it heads past Tampa, it really tries to get on in there and make a closed low. But you can see at the same time, storms all over here. The closed low is over here. You still got a lopsided uh, storm because of the wind shear pushing it over. It does try to go all the way around. That's around 3 o'clock in the morning, guys. While Tampa's getting hit with storms, it does actually close a little bit, but not strong enough with storms all the way around it. Don't look like it quite gets closed up before landfall. We will see, but so far it's not showing that it can get closed up. And it does a lot of good chances. It does a lot of good tries. I mean, it's so close. I wouldn't even want to say it won't because it gets very close. Make sure you hit the like button, guys. Show support to the channel. Thank you so much. Share this to the others so you know what's going to happen before they lose power. All right, so I'm going to play this for you so you all can watch it. I hope you have a very lovely night. God bless every single one of you. And, of course, let's hear from our Father. Amen. Psalm. 144. Blessed is the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him? Or the son of man that thou makest account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passeth away. Bow thy, thy heavens, O Lord, and come down, touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. 
Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Send thine hand up from above, rid me, and deliver me out of great waters, from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a pulse. A, Upon a, a palstry and, and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as a cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace, that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and tens thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is that people that is, such, that is in such a case Yes, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you have a great night tonight. That's pretty much the facts on the storms, guys. Tell me what you think. You think it'll become one or you think it'll just be close? Either way, you're going to be dealing with a lot of hard winds and some heavy rains. It really don't make that much of a difference. It's just a classification at that point. <laughs> I will see you in the morning. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very blessed night.